10 Naruto Characters with the Best Chakra Control Ranked Chakra Control in Naruto has always translated to high power levels. Here are 10 characters with the best chakra control in the series. Ranked In a way, chakra control in Naruto has always translated to high power levels. While Might Guy proved one didn't need it to be strong, everyone with a high level of chakra control played an important role in the final arc and were consistently the benchmarks as far as power was concerned. As most jutsu required some semblance of chakra control and Naruto became less about strategy in favor of overpowered techniques, the chakra gap only grew. By the end of the series, even someone like Naruto improved to the point he could keep pace with others. 10. Minato created the Raisingan. There's no doubting that Minato was one of the strongest ninja in the world and possessed speed unlike any other. He didn't earn his nickname. The Yellow Flash, for nothing. Minato's greatest achievement in chakra control was creating the Raisingan. The Raisingan requires precise chakra control, making it difficult for most people to use. Minato was so proficient in it, he could conjure a Raisingan in either hand instantly explaining why he was so feared. 9. Hashirama was the god of Shinobi. Senju Hashirama did more than live up to his moniker, the god of Shinobi. He was the only one strong enough to deal with Madara and his constant threat. Not to mention managing to deal with eight of the nine-tailed beasts by himself. Hashirama was said to be the closest thing to the Sage of the Six Paths because of his achievements. His chakra control was so strong that he could heal his wounds on the fly, a technique that was only surpassed by Tsunade and Naruto. 8. Tsunade's medical ninjutsu helped her survive being bisected. As a descendant of Hashirama, Tsunade had big shoes to fill. While she wasn't as physically strong as he was, she did manage to surpass him in chakra control. Her ability with medical ninjutsu was vast and only matched by her student, Sakura. Tsunade battled Madara for half a day without suffering from fatigue, as well as survived being bisected long enough to heal others. She also managed to protect many villagers in Kanoha during Pain's invasion. 7. Kabuto surpassed Orochimaru achieved sage mode. To some, he was an unnecessary facet of the war and hung around for too long, but Kabuto was an underrated powerhouse. The fact that he managed to surpass his own master and achieve something a genius like Orochimaru never could is impressive. It was even noted by Tsunade that he had surpassed her in ninjutsu while she was in her prime. Even in the early parts of the series, he showed incredible chakra control with his use of chakra scalpels as weapons. 6. Sakura was a prodigy and it came to chakra control. At the start of the series, chakra control was Sakura's biggest strength, allowing her to complete the tree climbing exercise well before Sasuke or Naruto had. While the two of them did manage to surpass her by the end of the series, she wasn't far behind. Most importantly, everything she did was without the aid of being an Atsutsuki reincarnation. Sakura even managed to move past her mentor Tsunade in power, learning all of her vast medical jutsu while managing to wield greater strength, even fracturing one of Kagaya's horns in battle. 5. Madara could perform complicated techniques with a single hand seal. Despite never being able to overcome his longtime rival, Hashirama, Madara does have him beat in one aspect, he has supreme control of his chakra. Putting him beyond the level of just about anyone. Madara could perform complicated techniques with a single hand seal and even summon the demonic statue of the outer path from the moon in his old age. One of his most impressive feats was his lack of struggle with the Ten Tails power, unlike Abito who had to constantly battle for control. 4. Naruto improved upon the Raisingan could transfer chakra. 
As the title character of a shonen series, it's no surprise that Naruto was as powerful as he was. That said, Naruto wasn't always skilled in chakra control. At the start of the story, he was awful, relying more on his huge reserves than anything else. By the end, Naruto was one of the best, able to lend his chakra to others to empower them. As well as achieve various new forms due to his control. He also improved upon his father's technique immensely, making it more destructive. 3. Hagoromo was the sage of the six paths, created the tailed beasts. As a literal god amongst mortals, Hagoromo was unparalleled in both chakra control and usage. As the first person born with chakra, he learned to use jutsu without the need for hand seals, showing how advanced he was compared with the current generation. As with Naruto, he could also transfer his chakra to others, empowering them in the process. His greatest feat is splitting the Tentails Chakra, creating nine separate beasts to prevent it from causing any further harm. 2. Sasuke quickly mastered the Rinnegan Spacetime Ninjutsu. Sasuke's powers grew exponentially once he received Hagoromo's Chakra, putting him on a level equal to the Sage of Six Paths. Even impressing Madara in the process. Sasuke managed to push the use of Susanoo to heights only Madara was able to reach once he gained the Rinnegan, along with the space-time ninjutsu that only Atsutsuki could use. He even pulled off a feat similar to Hagoromo by splitting the tailed beasts apart in what felt like an instant. 1. Kagaya is the origin of all chakra. It's hard to top Kagaya, the mother and origin of all chakra. Even including the other Atsutsuki that appear in Boruto, she may very well be the most powerful. She was able to absorb any technique that she encountered, and could send out shockwaves with the mere release of her chakra. Kagaya's even able to absorb chakra from others. Be it via touch or from the victims of infinite Tsukuyumi, the latter being due to her connection to the god tree. And then, there's her space-time ninjutsu.